What's going on you guys? Welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Genius you ask? Check this out back here. It's the Artillery Genius 3D Printer. Check out this model. This took over 40 hours to print. This is an awesome skull dice tower by artist Ars Moriendi 3D. This model is available over on Thingiverse. I will place a link in the description below. You can see I have got a little dungeon dice here. All you do is place it in one of the eye holes. Roll seven! Wouldn't this be awesome to use in one of your fantasy gaming adventures? Or perhaps bring it to grandma's when she breaks out the Monopoly game. It'll liven up the party, I'm telling you. This model is exquisite. And I printed it again with giant arm filament. And I believe it's by GTEC. This is the silky gold, and as you can see, it is just, it is amazing. I was totally blown away by this printer. In fact, here's a little bit of footage printing this little guy. Check this out. Here's a couple of the prints that I printed on the Artillery Genius. This is a Mythic Mug. Try to say that five times fast. Mythic Mug, Mythic. This is a Mythic Mug, again, by artist Ars Moriendi 3D. He had a Kickstarter last year where he had the Mythic Mug campaign. And I was a backer and he came out with some amazing mugs. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, how in the heck am I supposed to drink out of this? You're not supposed to be drinking out of PLA. Well, this is actually a holder. In fact, you can print these little inserts. This is the 12 ounce insert, and you just bloop, slide it in. Take your favorite 12 ounce beverage. Mine just happens to be A&W Diet Root Beer. And it slides thusly. So you can raise your tankard of ale whilst you're playing your games. So yes. These are really cool. In fact, there's all different types of models. Uh, this one, I believe, is free out on Thingiverse. I'll leave, a description, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can print your own mythic mug. So enough chatter. Let's take a quick look at the Artillery Genius. Okay, starting from the top to the bottom. What is this little thumb screw for? Well, you can loosen this little thumb screw and this part of the filament holder will slide back and forth, thereby adjusting this filament holder to any size of filament. Just go back, tighten the thumb screw up, and voila! Going back to the front of the printer is the obligatory filament sensor. A lot of 3D printers are starting to add this to their, um, to their printer, so that's a good sign. And then going down, one of my favorite parts about this printer is, is the direct drive extruder. I love the direct drive extruders because you can print things like TPU, you can print flexible filament without the hassle of having a Bowden tube on here. This works fantastic. Haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Going down here now to the ultra base. This looks like to be an ultra base, which is kind of a ceramic glass material. It is flat, 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 super flat. Didn't have any issues with uh, leveling. There, there's your standard leveling knobs down there. Did not have, did not have any issues whatsoever. Again, I love this printer because it went together with literally four bolts. There was two bolts here. Uh, putting up the the Z rails, all this all this up here is just is all this here is just one piece. So you put two bolts here, two bolts here to the base. Go back and connect all your sensors. The sensors uh, wires are all keyed. They go in one way. You snap them together. I literally had this printer going within 20 minutes by turning it on. Me turn it on here for you. As you can see, you can hear this thing is just. 
bleep, it gives you the, the, the loudest part is the beep. And you can hear my dog in the background. That is actually the loudest part of this printer is that initial beep. And as you can see, it's a really nice, colorful uh, display here. Very simple to use. Uh, you can go to your tools here. Uh, you can heat your you can heat your uh, you can heat your hot end, your bed. You can move items around. You can change your uh, items to uh, there's a button to change your filament as well. Um, there's also a spot on here where you can turn your fans off and on. It, it's very very intuitive. Again, click the print button. This thing is so quiet. This is as quiet. Uh, as you saw at the beginning of the video, as quiet as my Prusa Mark III in the stealth mode. It is just super quiet. The only thing you're hearing right now is the the internal, uh, the, the fans, because these uh, particular uh, system board on here have the quiet steppers on there, so this thing is, it it is, again, did I tell you it was super quiet? It's super quiet. So again, this is not meant to be a uh, all-inclusive review of the Artillery Genius printer, but from my first impressions, I really like this, and it, it's fantastic. I love it. I would highly recommend this for a beginner, or actually, if you're a veteran 3D printer and you want something that is to, to and you want something to tinker with and something that just works, especially with this direct drive, uh, I highly recommend it. So you know you didn't think I would get away from not telling you how that uh, genius secret note magic trick worked. Now you can use this, what's really cool about this is you can use this in any of your, if you're a DM on one of your dungeon adventures, you can you imagine writing notes to the players and trying to get them to figure this out or perhaps you're using it for a scavenger hunt or just a magic trick if you're into, if you're a amateur magician or a magician and you want to use this in your act, have at it. So the secret? These, these are called friction pins. You can pick these up at Walmart. You can pick them up on Amazon. They are extremely cheap. They are put out by Pilot. And the way they work is it, there's an ink that is heat sensitive. So basically you write something in this ink and you turn it over and there's just a little piece of like rubberized plastic on the back of this and you can you can erase it. I mean, don't endorse checks with it and uh, do that kind of thing, so you don't want to do that. But uh, yeah, you can, you can actually erase it, but it's the heat from the friction of this little eraser that causes the ink to disappear. Aha, uh -huh, now you know where I'm going with this. So what you do is you take a regular black ink gel pen, you write out the note that you want to show up, then you go back with your friction pen and you start drawing little squares and boxes and squiggly lines all around it to disguise your phrase or word. And then all you do is take a little bit of heat. So, I mean, it's boring to just go back and erase over it. Get you a flame, get you a lighter. Just be real careful with it and don't burn your house down, but just take you a lighter, run it lightly over the, um, run it lightly over the letters and voila your secret message is now displayed. So, yes, and you didn't have to pay any extra to get that little tidbit because you waited till the end of this video to check it out. So, again, once again, thanks for joining us here on 3D Print Farm. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I know I did. As you can see over here, I've got a Piopoli Phenom. I've got an Ender 5 Plus over here, which prints some big stuff. I'm gonna be printing some uh, larger items here in the next uh, week or so, so be sure to stay tuned. But all right, guys, I hope you had a great day. I know I did. Appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope to see you again soon next time on 3D Print Farm. Bye now. A little dungeon dice here, and all you do is place it in one of the eye hole, eye holes,